the dude was on that with Sean King. He said, man, politicians got to start making decisions that may get may make a choice and decisions if they get reelected. And what he meant by that is, you got to make a decision. If you're going to make a call, the people is not going to like, but it's going to be a good fucking call. But guess what these politicians that look like us and look, look like me and you, you know, <laughs> black and brown. But guess what? They ain't talking like us and they ain't about us. They not talking like us and they ain't about us. Fuck if you look like me. All skin folks ain't kin folk. Mm-hmm. They dangerous in this movement. Harry Tubman would have left their monkey asses. Right. That old Daniel Coon ass DOJ they sent in the other day. What's his name? Derek? That was another. That y'all day. went to talk to? Yeah. They went and talked to the DOJ the night, the morning before we got locked up. And All we, three of them went and we talked to the DOJ. And we, we, we said a list of demands and everything. All three of them. Before we got locked up, they Before went and talked we to the DOJ. That's what we were doing. Yeah. We, we ain't come pump faking when we came here. Yeah. So the answer, bro, oh, it's got to be more people that's willing to put their life on the line. What's going to happen, young fella, is I'm going to die, right? Hmm. One day, I'm going to leave here, right? Hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's up to you young people. To replace me and fight just as hard as I'm fighting. Listen, this is a father. My father fought before me. My grandfather fought before my father. My great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather was a Gariite. Right? When that shit was not popular, man. Going back to Africa, man. Send us back. Fuck this place. This ain't our land. This ain't our land, man. But you young people have to have a, a purpose. Listen, uh, you already powerful because you possess the power that your ancestors have put in you. Listen, the blood. So you have to activate that power. You have to stand up. You have to take. When I when I pass, I'm carrying a torch right now, right? So when I pass, the torch has to be picked up. Listen. Because these brothers and sisters is going to need y'all. Right? That's your spot. That's where you step in. Right? Because I'll be damned, man. Listen. If I didn't fight for a reason. Huh. Come on now. Educate. I'm not fighting for myself, Fuck man. Fuck that. I'm almost at the end of the motherfucking Come race. Come on now. Come right? on now. Medical. The marathon is almost over for me. Right? But if I stop, then there's a chance you might stop. Listen. But if I don't stop, you'll understand how important it is <coughs> not to stop. Educate, educate, bro. My feet hurt, my back hurts, my <laughs> body hurts, condition. but my mind is strong, right? And my heart don't pump Kool-Aid. Listen. He's passing a baton right now. You all have to understand, man. I can't do this and not feel like there's nobody coming after me. Gotta pass the baton. So I feel like young people understand they got to come after me, man. I'm not an angel by far. I have to answer for all I've done. Listen. Down here on this planet. But that's not what I fear. What I fear is that I faced my creator Come on now. and I did not do, do everything that didn't I do could enough. do. Come on now. For my people, man. Come on, man. We've been in bondage for 470 in fucking bondage. years, man. Locked up. Just because we don't have on chains Shackles. does not mean mentally. that we are not mentally Physical. in chains. Right. Come on now. Boy, it's locked so up it's here. up to you all, man. To raise your level of consciousness. To understand it's not just about the here and now. Listen. It's not about possessions. You cannot take possessions with you into the hereafter. Come on now. Down here really don't even fucking matter. Say it again. Say it again. Because your creator got a place for you. Come on I don't care what religion you are. Your creator has a place. So you step up, you, you tie your boots up as tight as you can tie them. And you be prepared. I was prepared the other night 
to die. Listen, to you die. You understand me? Yeah. Because I know every time we leave the crib, come on now. it's a fucking possibility come on now. that I may not make it home. Because we left the crib for a hashtag. You understand me? Yes, but the fear does not exist in me. Listen. Apprehension does not exist in hmm. me. Asking. Understanding me and where I come from. I can close my eyes and hear my ancestors moaning. Listen. I say, I say. But you have to be in touch with yourself I say, to I understand say. who you are and where you must go. And who you are. But you must know where you are. Listen. And where you want to go. I say. Right? So you stand up and you follow this movement because it's not a fucking moment. It's a movement. Mm. It's some real mm. shit going it's on. It's a revolution right? here. This brother was pummeled for the sake of Jalen Walker, man. For the sake of Jalen Walker. For his name not to be forgotten, I will take that ass beating again. Real, real. It's a small sacrifice. It's a small sacrifice for what we must do to be us. Freedom is a state of mind. Listen. And if you feel like you are not free, then your state of mind is not raised up to the level where it should be. Freedom doesn't have to do with anything other than how you feel like success is dictated by yourself. How you see yourself is how you are, not what someone else says about you. Listen. So all that people say about you get put in the toilet that you shit in. Educate. And you flush it. Listen. Because an opinion that is coming with a finger, right? Ooh. When a finger of judgment points at you, huh. there's three fingers pointing back at the motherfucker that's pointing at you. Listen. You feel me? So when all about you is in chaos, right? And you, 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 if you close your eyes in that moment of chaos, you can hear your voice speaking to you. Be calm. Be calm. I say. Be calm. Be calm. Because when they put hands on me, I didn't feel. It felt like they were putting feathers on me. <laughs> I say. It felt like nothing was touching me. Hmm. It's just I had to sit down. Right? And when I went into the seizure, when and I lost consciousness, when I woke up, I knew the crackers had me. I knew they had me. Did I have fear then? No. No. No fear. Because God sent a nurse I that say. brought a telephone in my room. And I called this sister. Right? And she heard my voice. When she heard my voice, she let out a sigh. Right? That was the side that connects all four of us, right? I see. When I call them every day or I check on them on a daily basis, it's not because I need a fucking conversation. It's because I need them. Without we them, I am other. incomplete. We need Without each other. them, there is no mission. We've been linked together by God himself. Amen. I say. I don't care what religion you are. I say, There's a I creator. Say. And if you believe in your religion, you believe to be led by faith. I say. And God makes no mistakes, man. But he does not. He gives you common sense, right? He gives you sense. Common sense is not so fucking common. <laughs> not common. It ain't sold in the store. <laughs> So you must think and figure things out. Listen. We fight with our brains as well as we're ready to fight with our fucking hands. Listen. Right? You can't be led by fear. Come on now. No fear. You pump your fucking chest out just like Shaka Zulu did. 
right? Steve Biko, right? Jomo Kenyatta, Listen. right? Those are names that everyone should know. Everyone. Shaka Zulu said the only good place for a colonizer I say. was over his fireplace, right? Comes a time when one must do what they must do. Listen. Nat Turner did what he had to do. Mm. Come on now. You understand? Nat Turner is a hero, my hero. Come on now. But you're not taught about him. In world history, you're not taught about Africa. We had history before slavery. Listen. You must appreciate your ancestral thread. I say. That is what holds you together. Together. The fibers of your ancestors is what hold you together. 500,000 bodies lay at the bottom of the Atlantic I Ocean. Say. And if they tell you it was 500,000, it was more Lord. like a million. Listen. You understand me? Come on now, educate. So those souls that lie at the bottom of that Atlantic Ocean. You can look at that ocean when the sun rises and when it sets, and you can hear them. I say. You can hear, that's our River Jordan. I say. That's what we must cross. The sea is in your mind. Come on now. Not a literal body of water. The body of water is in your mind. They learned in chattel slavery to control our mind. Listen. Huh, that's why I tell they you. They put you preachers the in place so that the preachers would come on, tell come on now. the master what was going on and Listen. who was planning on escaping and who was not happy. The preachers did what? They ran back the master. Mm, mm, still and running told the master. master what still was going running on. the master. So if you think it does not happen now, then you must ask yourself a, 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 a serious question. Am I really paying attention? Listen, Am are I you really woke? Awake? Are you woke? Bring God it damn it. Are you woke? Am I awake? Are man? you fucking woke? Because a sleeping person can be standing in front of and you too fucking dangerous. speaking to you. Dangerous. And still be asleep. Dangerous. But when you woke, you can hear, I can hear. Listen. These three people from blocks away, I know they're down there. I, I can hear them. Because that's how in touch I am with myself. Listen. <laughs> I refuse to be stepped on and trampled. I refuse to lay down and quit. I refuse to let them have the victory. You understand what I'm I talking say, about? I say. When you fight with me, you bring your lunchbox and your black boot. Because <laughs> it's going to be a long ass day. I say. You understand me? It's going to be a long ass day. When one's mind is educated, one's soul follows. One understands his people. When I look into the eyes of these families that have been affected by this brutality, I say. and they look into my eyes, they see what they are looking for. Listen. A person that understands what they need. Mm -hmm. When I hold these mothers and these fathers' hands and they weep with me, we don't weep because we're looking for a pity party. We weep because I understand. Listen. I understand you. I and say. if we took more time to understand each other, we would be in a much better place. I say. A much better place. Your ego must be left. Yeah, swallow Where you that fucking shit, man. left from? Yeah, swallow yes. that. My ego is in a motherfucking drawer that I never open. Listen. Because my ego is not what got me here. I say. Yeah. Young brother, if I can just tell you that, and I know I told you a lot, but the most important thing that I'm going to tell you is that I love you. Mm -hmm. I ain't, nobody can take that from because you look like me. Listen, I say. And I want you to take what I have given this earth, man, and continue, brother. I don't want 
all this shit to be in vain, man. Boy. We, we, we've gone from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific, man. Yes, sir. With these family, brother. We've given, we've given all we can give, man. I don't know what else I can give, but I'm gonna keep giving because that's all I know to do, man. That's all I know to do, man. Now Shay, now Shay. Shay. Gotta keep doing it. Talk to him, sis. We got you. Brianna Taylor. Right here. Bianca Thanks. Austin. Right here. Right. Brianna Taylor, huh? Thank you. Talk to him. Appreciate that. You said him It's what it's about, man. It's just for the next generation. Our job is to pass the baton. Our job is not to And I love all y'all, man. Remember this stuff. I, I love all on, of y'all, man. Not at night. The goddamn on community. We like charcoal. You throw that charcoal on the grill, it get hot. It's our job to make sure it get hot. Bro said we touch down, man, we like the Marines. First in, last out. We ain't come for no other, other agenda. Our agenda, our motive was a movement for Jalen Walker. That's it. That's it. All that other stuff doesn't matter. As bro is saying, giving education purposes on this stuff, man, you got to be woke. And a lot of these jokers is not woke out here. They some people that heard Tubman would have left because they asked too many questions. <laughs> they heard <laughs> Tubman. Why, why he says that, huh? Is why he says that is because Harriet Tubman said she freed hundreds Ooh. of slaves. Huh? She says she would have freed thousands huh? more. Listen. If they thought huh? they were if slaves. They if they thought. Right. If. And it's still happening now. Mm -hmm. They don't know they're slaves. They don't care to know that they're slaves. Because they don't want to be woke. They are the man, they are answering to the system. The responsibility, they are following the system. The responsibility of being awake. And having power is immense. That is, that responsibility it's, it's, it's immense. that comes with being awake and being powerful is way past what you can put on a scale. I'm gonna put it like this too, you know. Um, a lot of people sit up there and wonder and always have the question, but what does Families United do? You know what I mean? We are impacted families. I don't know any other, or I don't know a couple other families, but I don't know nobody uh, or organization just about and them they're as strong as ours that travel to state to state, country to country, standing in solidarity with families out of our this own side. out of our own pockets. Hmm? Out of our own pockets, time away from our family, time away from our job, what? time away from our lives for, for, for our community, for our brothers on, and man. sisters, for our for the families. My son was born day was yesterday. Come. I wasn't at home. You feel me? I'm out here so, in the streets. Like, uh, you know, again, Boots on the people ground. ask, well what, are, what well, what do we do? We're an organization that comes and provides mental, physical, financial support to the family. Emotional. Emotional support to the family. Huh? My job as an executive director of Families United is to make sure I link up with organizers and leaders and activists. Listen. Because that's what I do anyway. And been doing it for years. To help them put on marches, to help them put on uh, demonstrations. You know what I mean? So we can all be on one accord. We'd be there for about a week or maybe two, and then leave the leave it to them. Like you said, passing the baton. We we have to give them the you know what I mean the courage and let them know that they are the lion and they and they're not cowards. You are the lion. Make man make some noise, roar. Let the city and the, and the city officials know that y'all are here and y'all lives matter. Fuck Listen. these properties. I say. Fuck these buildings. Our what lives it? matter. People over property. Huh? That's and what it's it, very sad that you know some people push these different narratives, man. Listen, gonna continue to do that, but we, as a whole, as a as a as a uh, as a collective, we know what we're here for. We know our purpose. That's it. God put us here for a reason. That's it. We brought move, us together for a reason. We move when God say move. Indeed. Indeed. Not when we want to move. Indeed. When God say move, 
It's all God designed. It could have been. It's all God designed because matter. we're not it moving out of feelings. Anybody. Anybody we're not moving died. out of uh, clout chasing. We're not moving out of 